the start of day two. Didn't sleep too well camping, never does, <laughs> does well for me. But a uh, great night last night, it was a band playing. Lots of these, but I mean, I had a few to drink, but my God, compared to some of these guys, I don't know how they do it. So, just packing up the camp. We um, packed up nice and early. The, um, well, the camp, the cots, just because there's a bit of um, cloud about. And um, we go to Cooktown this morning, and then we end up at uh, Cow Power tonight. And apparently this 85k is a really tough terrain today, so that'll be interesting. And then just um, up the back there, I've got the guys on the posty bikes. They've already had to change a complete engine out. So uh, they're having a lot of fun. So we're just going to have breakfast, get ready and hit the road. Popping a wheelie. Just arrived in Cooktown. Going up to the Grassy Hill lookout. And then we'll get some fuel and head out of here. Yep, there's some bloody good riders amongst this group, let me tell you. Here we are at Grassy Hill lookout. We're now about 85 kilometers of four-wheel drive tracks with tree roots and sand and bulldust, some climbing. And we just have to remember just how remote we're starting to get. Stop for lunch first day, second day, second day. Stop for lunch, second day. My God, if we've got 85 k's of that, I reckon we've done 10 of this particular section and it was just the worst bulldust sand rotted twisty four-wheel drive tracks i've been on silly stupidly picked a bike with um, bar risers on so i feel like the bars are almost touching my stomach so i've got a huge arm pump so it's been uh, been tough i've had um, a couple of set downs in the bulldust just slow speed sit downs but um, certainly um, certainly hard hard work massive arm pump so we'll see how we go the rest of the day
γίνει πώς Yeah, okay, I'm going to give back a bit more. When you get, take your weight off that back wheel, it just brings. And it perhaps doesn't look like anything on camera, but this is steep and gnarly. And I was glad I went early. Get it out of the way. Certainly, if you can be aggressive at the bottom, but it's just such deep sand at the bottom. Oh, fuck, come on, boy. Cheers, mate.
saw a hog going. This section of tracks had less ball dust, still plenty of it. But you're just working the whole time. And my forearms are gone, which is why I'm sitting down so much. Just come. Just have to keep telling yourself we are very, very, very remote. Don't do anything silly. I mean, there's great riders on this trip. I reckon I'm. In reality, there's only one guy slower than me. Now there's a couple, probably three that are only a fraction quicker than me, but still out of nine riders, I didn't really envisage myself being a solid eight. about another 5k and we're having a rest. Just try and get off early and let these guys pass me just to go on the start off at the back. kilometers on the big fast dirt sitting uh, at about 100, 110 and we're here thank god oh, a tough long day Just in case I catch on fire or something fucking fucked up with your brains, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I it up. Well, I don't really need them these days. <laughs> they come in handy, you sort of piss out. <laughs> Go, Get them beers out. It's the first day, you know, there's a few more. Yeah, where are them beers? You know, where, do you see that woman, that, that bloken woman look, looking at that, um, looking at that old. Yeah, yeah, the train Walker. or whatever it was. I looked Walker. at them and there was a little fucking thing there. And I, and I said, oh, straight down. But he just, he just stopped finished. Filming, so you didn't get me. Try. So it didn't happen. <laughs> Take your eyes off the road for a second. Sorry. Where was that? Where the? Yeah, where the first corner man was to. to oh yeah. Um, and um, Brent was on the corner. Yeah. And there's an old couple looking at that whatever it tracks here, and I, I looked at him and nodded, and there was just a little divot, and I just fucking hit it, didn't see it, slid out. No, they were saying, you know, Brent was laughing, but he didn't say, he turned, he, he turned his camera off, so it's all right, it didn't happen. I said, your camera wasn't going, and my camera wasn't going when I fell off, so I didn't fall off. Right in front of 
fucking those old cups and wasn't tra the tractor and I went I was like take a picture of myself with the side behind me and I looked around and went fuck something's on the ground <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's what that's that saved me. You know, um, Tony put his back on. Yeah, I put mine back on. Too. That's that's what saved me. I took the back part off. Yeah. Well, that was day two. Man, I found that hard. Gotta say, it was um, about eighty k's of deep. Rotted, sandy, roots up, down, bulldozed. And uh, yeah, just my forearms just went early on and, um, and it was just really, really tough. <clears throat> and then we did about 100 k's of um, like a super highway. So, you know, good to be here. We're in a bush camp just over by a causeway. See there, camp, drinking a beer. So I think tomorrow's a transit day, which will give my hands and my back hopefully time to recover. It's, um, yeah, I, I think the suspension on this bike is, is set up for 120, 140 kilo guy because it just feels so hard, bang, 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 when you hit anything at all. <clears throat> which doesn't help with the back and the and the knees and stuff. So that's um, that's a that's a struggle. And then because I picked a bike with bar rises, the the because they're for the rake of the fork, the um, the bars are just too close to my body, and it, so I can't I cannot find a comfortable position. So I spent half the day sitting down, which I hate to do. Tim will give me a kick up the backside for doing it. But you know, it's if if these things were easy, every man and his dog would be doing them. So I had a couple of offs. I had quite a, <coughs> a fast off. There was a couple couple looking at this old tractor just on a corner, and I looked and sort of nodded to them. And there was just a tiny little rot. And of course, I didn't see it. And I went straight down, ripped all my new gear. But my knee braces and my body armor, you know, didn't didn't hurt me at all. And uh, Brent, who was on the corner, he just stopped recording. So it wasn't on film either. So if it's not on film, it didn't happen. All right, we'll see what, uh, whether, what's going to happen later tonight and in the morning.